Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick 9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Batman, the 1960s television show. Now, unfortunately, when I do cover these classic TV shows, something that I often do is cover the unfortunate deaths of many of the actors and particularly famous crew members who are on the show. And today we're going to Remember one of them, the amazingly talented Barbara Rush. Now, Barbara Rush lived for 97 years, quite a long life, and she was one that she played one of the villainesses in Batman. Now, what was great about her is that she played a really cool character called Nora Clavicle. What made her so unique is that she was way different from all the other villains who had some type of shtick, whether it was Penguin, Joker, Riddler, they all had something, but Nora Clavicle was just devious in her own way. She was a woman's right activist, and she tried to do many different things to defeat and terrorize Batman as well as Gotham City. She was secretly a crime queen and she would use her influence over many different people, over Mayor Lindsay's wife, of course, Commissioner Gordon, Chief O'Hara, Batman, Robin, and many other different people as well. Because of the 1960s and the tumultuous time that it was, there were many activists, civil rights leaders, and so forth, and Nora Clavicle filled in that gap but as a villainess in this case, she was all about social justice, but she always had an ulterior motive to destroy Gotham, to destroy Batman, and so forth. But coming back to the actual woman that we're honoring, Barbara Rush, she was a very talented woman who played this character, but also many others in other TV shows and movies. Now, Mrs. Rush won the Golden Globe Award for It Came From Outer Space. She also was on Peyton Place, All My Children, Seventh Heaven, The Young Philadelphians, The Young Lions, Robin and the Seven Hoods, as well as Hombre. She was married four times, had two children, and interesting to know that she did live in Harold Loy's estate in Beverly Hills, California, which is very, very cool. I mean, the fact that she got the ability to do that is a once in a lifetime experience. She did live to the ripe old age of 97, but what makes her very important in this age is that we're running out of these classic and TV show actors and actresses, and she is one of the last from the TV show Batman. Of course, we still have Burt Ward, but other than that, we have very, very few, if not maybe a couple supporting actors here and there, but that's about it. So each one of them that are still alive with us are still gems. I want to thank all of you for your support. Let me know your thoughts down below, not just for Nora Clavicle, but for Barbara Rush as well. You can put your condolences down in the comments as well. Let me know what you thought about the episodes that she did star in. And other thoughts that you had to her, maybe messages to her family of condolences that you'd like to put below. What you thought about her, what she did for your life in terms of entertainment. I'd love to read your comments down below. I will give you more classic TV shows and movies. If you haven't checked out my channel, there's over 1,800 videos for you to enjoy. So I'm sure there's so much for you to watch. And it's going to teach you so much that you never knew before about classic TV shows and movies. We'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for the support. And remember, everyone, be hopeful. Thank you to all my supporters, especially my Diamond Tier patrons. Christopher K., John O., David D., Sally N., Jerry D., Vito L., Citizen Kane, Jennifer P., and Kevin K. If you want to be on this list, make sure to check out the link in the description. It's all of you patron members who make my channel possible. Thanks.